Matchup Gaming presents an advanced guide to Project M and Super Smash Bros. Melee. Captured primarily in Project M, this guide will analyze the necessary skills and techniques needed to play both Super Smash Bros. Melee and Project M at a higher level, starting with the basic fundamentals and progressing to advanced situational tactics. Episode 3 will discuss the concepts of spacing, punishing, and shield pressure. Let's begin. The first element of spacing is stage control. When on the offense, try using high priority and ranged moves to better control the space in front of you. When defending, evade your opponent's attacks while looking for opportunities of your own. Characters that can be gimped easily should try and maintain control of center stage and only make safe advances towards the ledge. Characters with projectiles come equipped with a huge tool for controlling space. Use your projectiles to make your opponent dodge or force them to come to you. Evade projectile spam by dash dancing, wave dashing, and wave landing around the stage. Spacing and punishing go hand in hand. By controlling the stage using projectiles or high priority moves, as well as the movement techniques discussed in episode 2, you can force your opponent to react and make mistakes. Here's where punishing comes into play. Dash dancing and wave dashing in front of an enemy will often make them attack, jump, shield, roll, or dodge. Approaching with an empty jump and wave landing back can also psych out your opponent. By predicting and reacting to your enemy's actions, you can counter with a grab or an attack of your own. Let's look at that one more time in slow motion. Watch how Rob waits for Pit's aerial attack and then approaches with his own. If an opponent attacks your shield, you can wave dash out of shield backwards and use a move or approach of your own, or even wave dash towards them and grab like Wario does here. You can also use fast and high priority moves out of shield to counter an enemy's attack. Watch as Charizard shields Wario's approach and then neutral airs out of shield. Punishing also includes capitalizing on any and all errors your opponent makes, whether it's a missed move, grab or L cancel, a bad recovery, or a reaction you force out of them. Look for these openings and try to create even more opportunities by spacing and controlling the stage. Shield pressure is the act of repeatedly attacking an enemy's shield, limiting or even completely eliminating their counter options. By L cancelling aerials combined with quick specials and jabs, certain characters have quite effective shield pressure strategies. Be mindful of your spacing, however, and the attacks that you use on your opponent's shields. Attacking too high or using moves with little shield stun can prevent you from being able to follow up, allowing your opponent to escape or use a move of their own. Some players will attack out of shield or roll when under pressure, while others will spot dodge or wave dash away. Try to predict and anticipate your opponent's options and follow up with another attack or grab. Here's an example of predicting a getup roll into a grab. Watch how Bowser rolls away but still gets grabbed by Lucas. It's extremely important to not only know your own character's options when it comes to spacing, punishing, and pressure, but your opponent's options as well. Always consider every possibility, know specific opponent's habits, and predict their next move, and you'll have them off the stage in no time. We'll be taking a closer look at edge guarding, directional influence, and meteor cancelling in episode 4 of Even Matchup Gaming's Advanced Guide to Project M and Super Smash Bros. Melee. Until then, get back in the lab, and we'll see you next match.